Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. We have a few million of us in Jamaica. Uh, today, uh, we're going to see a hurricane moving in. With that said, that also means we're going to see a few million people, awesome people, helping each other out. Please, please think of others uh, going through something uh, like this. Uh, so if anyone's alone, uh, maybe we could check on them early this morning before the worst weather moves in, maybe maybe take them in. So let's get to the latest on this. Winds right now, 145 miles per hour or 235 kilometers an hour. It is moving to the west-northwest at about 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers an hour. So that's not necessarily slow. That's a good thing, keeps moving. I do expect further weakening, uh, and I wanna say that with caution. It's gonna weaken some before it moves in today. That's all relative. This thing was a cat five down to a cat four. It should be a cat two or category three major hurricane as it impacts Jamaica today and then makes its way toward the Cayman Islands. You can see it here and I'm not losing sight of the Dominican Republic and especially Haiti, just like we talked about yesterday. Very heavy rain south side of uh, Haiti, watching those river crossings. We're going to see runoff. We're going to see some extreme flooding. If you're in Haiti, keep me posted as we go throughout the day, even back toward parts of the DR with some of the uh, rain that is moving in. But on track, and you can see it here, it stayed south of Puerto Rico, uh, moving toward Jamaica. This blob here moving into Barbados, still not organized. I don't lose sight of that either. Uh, that's an area of disturbed weather. I'm not seeing development out of that, but that is going to bring some increased rain to the Eastern Caribbean. So I want to track where this is going next, the winds we can expect, and what we could expect uh, going forward as I break it down island by island, uh, country by country, all locations matter. But Jamaica, uh, we really need to be in place today. Now, out ahead of it, we've had some rain overnight, been up overnight watching everything. It's called a predecessor rain event. Sometimes you get a batch of rain breaking free. So if you've had some rain in Jamaica, uh, Again, that's not the main action, of course. It's back here, but be in place in uh, Jamaica as we go throughout the day, of course, thinking of others. Cayman Islands by sunset, if not earlier, especially Grand Cayman. That's where we're going to see some of the uh, bigger impacts moving in. And then this will eventually move toward parts of Mexico. I want to break down the Yucatan and over toward Belize. Breaking down the winds, and I'm kind of on the uh, uh, worst case scenario here, the, the high side uh, to keep you prepped. Uh, you can see the winds here uh, moving in later today. So uh, eastern end, especially southeastern end toward uh, Kingston, winds of 110 miles per hour are possible. That would be 180 kilometers an hour just north of there. 100 mile per hour winds possible. Hoping it's less. Always hoping it's less. I don't like hurricanes. Don't wish them on anyone, and I know you don't either. Uh, 160 kilometers an hour. As you get toward, uh, say, Falmouth, Montego Bay, winds will be near 80 miles per hour or 130 kilometers an hour. And as you get toward uh, Black River, down through uh, Treasure Beach, 90 miles per hour or 145 kilometers an hour. Uh, plus, on top of the winds, we're dealing with a surge coming this way, winds on the backside coming this way all sorts of problems all around us. The winds are going to be shifting throughout the day, and that means we're going to have that surge. That's the rise in the water. That's going to cause those issues in the coastal flooding along our coast. So here's the very latest. I was showing you those winds earlier. 145 uh, miles per hour, 235 kilometers an hour. The next advisory, actually next couple that come out, we should see the winds going down a little bit, so on track. I don't do a video every day. I'm not here to add to the drama. You could subscribe or, or not subscribe. I'm here to put out the accurate information so you can stay safe. The video, for example, I had yesterday, the forecast is holding, so I'm not going to add to the drama. Uh, don't do this for money. I don't have sponsors or anything like that. You can see Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we're under those hurricane warnings. We now have that hurricane uh, watch that is up here uh, for the Yucatan uh, down into a northern, uh, or right where uh, we hit Belize, and then down through uh, northern Belize, we have tropical storm watches in effect. I'll, I'll get into that angle. Now, eventually, this will hit the Bay of Campeche. I do expect it to re-strengthen into a hurricane and move toward Mexico or Texas long term with this. So as it stands right now, this is a Category 4 hurricane, as I mentioned, moving into Jamaica later today as a Category 3, and then eventually should be downgraded to a Category uh, 2. But downgraded, it's all, all relative. We're dealing with a powerful hurricane, so a major hurricane that that will be working in later today in Jamaica, especially as we head toward the afternoon. I'll zoom down in a second. Here are those computer models, and these are just thin lines. You see how they are the thin line is south of Jamaica, barely, uh, but the size of this 
it's huge, as you know, as we've seen. So again, this is going to encompass Jamaica. We're all going to get those hurricane impacts in Jamaica. Then this will head toward the Yucatan south side. That's going to clip us with some tropical storm conditions in Belize. And I do believe this is going to get pulled to the north as it strengthens. Things that like to that things that spin more uh, get pulled more to the north if there's nothing blocking it. And I believe we'll see this kind of swinging up toward northeastern Mexico once again, where we had Alberto moving in or to the north back toward Texas. This could very well swing up toward Texas. Show you that with the European model in just a second. So it's category four. These are those squiggly lines. Uh, as we get into later today, it'll be a category three. So you'll hear about that. We've got that major hurricane moving in. Then it'll go down a little bit further. Of course, land interaction is key. As this moves across Jamaica for us, that's going to help weaken it uh, some going across the uh, LAM. And then a little bump up in a few days. That's because once it gets into the western Gulf Bay of Campeche, I do expect it to uh, uh, re-strengthen. So here's one of the looks, and then I want to zoom down in a moment. So here we are in Haiti, still some rain bands working in. Jamaica by 2 o'clock, some of the worst weather's moving in. Here we are in the Cayman Islands, our smaller islands, our big island here. In Cuba, we'll see some of the rain on the eastern end moving in. This will work its way by tonight, start to pull out of uh, Jamaica, but we're still going to get the rain bands on the back side. More on that in a second. And then this will start to work into the Cayman Islands tonight. That's why sunset you need to be in place. Be where you need to be for this storm in the Cayman Islands. Worst weather of toward Grand Cayman. Some tropical storm winds as you get to the uh, north or northern islands. Uh, Little Cayman, for example, 85 miles away from our big island, Grand Cayman, or 135 kilometers away. So that's going to make a big difference in some of the impacts. We'll go from hurricane conditions in the big island uh, to tropical storm conditions in the uh, smaller island. island as we work our way into the Cayman Islands. So this is two o'clock today. Right there, that is the center of this. Right in here is the center of, uh, of barrels. So we're going to see the heaviest weather working in, the hurricane conditions, major hurricane, should be a Cat 3 at this point, Kingston, uh, Moran Bay, and then as we pull forward, here's the center of this, right near Treasure Beach. This is at four o'clock today. So uh, Easter or rather Western end later in the day, the conditions are going to be awful. Please stay, stay inside. Now the center, that's not the center there. That's some of the land interaction. The center will pull offshore by seven o'clock, but hurricane conditions, especially in our Western end up toward Falmouth, you can see here, this is 7 p.m. And then as this pulls away by 10, yes, the core of it starts to work our way. That's good. But on the backside, it's still going to wrap in some bands of rain and storms. So even as we head toward tonight in Jamaica, please, please uh, use caution. Best to stay inside if you can. We're still going to get some tropical storm conditions for tonight. So hurricane today, tropical storm conditions for tonight. Kilometers an hour and miles per hour on this uh, map, but more so this is a computer model. It doesn't do the best job. I just really want to show you the circulation here uh, working into Jamaica today. This is two o'clock. We have that hurricane moving in, maybe a direct hit if the eye uh, passes right on top of us, which is possible, or the eye would be just to the south. That's going to wrap in some of the worst weather of this uh, hurricane. Hurricanes moving across. This is five o'clock today. Backside We'll start to see the winds coming out of the north on, on our northern coast. That's going to bring in the surge and increase the winds. And then you see the core of the winds working toward the Cayman Islands by tonight. Backside of this, though, we still have tropical storm force winds in Jamaica as we <clears throat> excuse me get into tonight and then you could see this working its way toward the Cayman Islands. Uh, here is uh, Grand Cayman. Then you get over toward our smaller islands. This is by 11 o'clock tonight. Hurricane conditions uh, over toward Grand Cayman tonight and then tropical storm conditions up to the north. This is overnight. We'll get some of the worst weather for the Cayman Islands. Six in the morning, still Grand Cayman tomorrow morning. We're going to be dealing with some hurricane and tropical storm impacts, and then eventually it'll start to uh, slide away as we hit nine o'clock. Still some tropical storm conditions in Grand Cayman nine o'clock tomorrow morning, but then we'll see things starting to improve. Of course, uh, watching the surge, the coastal uh, flooding, we're going to see that uh, flooding, uh, no doubt, as we get toward uh, the uh, Island. So here's the here's the broader picture. Here's that blob there. 
My friends in St. Lucia, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Dominica, uh, Grenada, uh, Barbados, we'll see some extra rain around. Not seeing any organization out of that. Hoping some of the rain can lift up toward Antigua and Barbuda uh, since we need some rain passing shower in, in Anguilla. But here is this. So this is later uh, into the, uh, I'm going to get later into the week. This is 1 o'clock tomorrow. See the impacts in the Cayman Islands, but starting to move away. Now here's Belize. That shift we saw a couple days ago, and I was talking about yesterday, is helping out Belize. It looks like like hurricane conditions will move in to uh, the Yucatan of Mexico. Tropical storm conditions just trying to clip northern Belize. Uh, but we'll also see if this, if the eye of this, if the center of this moves right over Jamaica, that's going to weaken it further. And of course, that means uh, we'll see uh, extra weakening and it may not be as strong as it gets toward the Yucatan. But once this gets into the Gulf of Mexico and Bay of Campeche, water temperatures, again, very warm, even though we've had a couple systems there, Alberto and Chris there, this is going to start to pull up to the north and restrain them. So again, Texas, Northeast Mexico, this is going to get pulled to the north. Not exactly uh, sure how far and exactly where, but that's going to lift up to the north and watching other batches of rain, but not organized in the Caribbean as we get into the upcoming weekend with that other tropical disturbance. So in the Yucatan, down through uh, northern Belize, we're still in action mode right around Belize City. Hopkins, for example, south of Belize City, uh, not not so much. We're more in the way of monitor mode from uh, Hopkins back through Honduras, watching it carefully. But it looks like the worst weather would be up toward us, uh, say Cancun, get over toward uh, the Yucatan of Mexico and just brushing by, clipping by northern Belize. We'll break that down further in a moment. Here's the European model showing that a uh, hit of a barrel moving into uh, Jamaica for today. There's that area back behind it. This is the setup and what's going on. High pressure has been to the north. That's been keeping everything right through the uh, Caribbean and then kind of swinging back toward parts of the Gulf. High pressure has been the dominant feature. That's like a block. It's like a fence. So while these things that spin want to go north, they find windows to go north. This can't jump up to the north. So the Bahamas, for example, this is coming nowhere near the uh, Bahamas. There's a blocker in place. And then as we work our way into uh, tomorrow morning, this is tomorrow morning impacting the uh, Cayman Islands. There's that area of disturbed weather. There will, by the way, be some gusty winds in the eastern Caribbean with that disturbance moving in. It's just not organized, not a named system, watching out for some rain. And there's that area of high pressure. That's the blocker. That's the fence. So this can't lift to the north. Just continues west, uh, northwest uh, toward the uh, Cayman Islands. And then moving forward as we go through the day tomorrow uh, and then uh, into uh, tomorrow evening, it will make its approach into uh, the Yucatan. So tomorrow night into Friday, that's when we'll start to see some of the worst weather moving into the Yucatan. Still as a hurricane as of now, that's how it's looking. Here's Belize. This is the European model again. This works into the Yucatan as we go through the day on Friday and it will weaken once it goes over land, loses its fuel source, which is the water, and then it moves back toward the Bay of Campeche. And that's where I do expect restrengthening. Almost all the models show a bump up in restrengthening. I don't just look at the models. They could be so off. Check the environmental conditions. There should be strengthening. The European model drives this into northeastern <coughs> Mexico, while the American model and a few other models take it more up toward the north, up toward Texas. This here is on Sunday. So Sunday into Monday, this will start to work into Mexico or start to lift up toward Texas. That's kind of the uh, time frame there. Water temperature is so very warm, 29 degrees Celsius or 80 four degrees uh, Fahrenheit where barrel has moved over and where barrels headed. Water temperatures uh, dropped a little bit in parts of the uh, Gulf uh, because of uh, uh, Alberto and Chris that was over there, but not enough. It's still very, very warm this time of year. And the other thing we're dealing with right near Jamaica, the wind shear is why it's weakening some or going down some. Those are the winds that kind of clip some of the uh, storm tops of the uh, hurricane. That's good. Wind shear is good as we go throughout the season. But on the flip side, you see that red there right near Jamaica. That is warm water in warm, deep water. That is heat content. So while above our heads, we've got some good news down below, not so much because the, that is the extra fuel for this. So the wind shear is kind of battling the uh, ocean heat content at uh, this point. So let's break it down further. Jamaica, we have that hurricane moving in. What I was talking about 24 hours ago is right on track, almost to a T. I didn't really have to update. I've been forecasting nonstop. Uh, you could ask my family. Uh, I've been just uh, checking this uh, around the clock and I haven't really changed this much. This is the worst end. This would be the highest end, but I 
showed you earlier. You can jump back in the uh, video too. kind of the breakdown in the winds depending on location in Jamaica, 120 miles per hour, 190 kilometers an hour. Yes, the rain, the issue, but also watching the winds in the, the big surge that will be working in Jamaica. We have a hurricane coming in later today. Cayman Islands, as I mentioned, the uh, breakdown, the difference in location, 80 to 90 miles away from our northern islands versus uh, Grand Cayman. We're going to see near hurricane conditions in Grand Cayman and then to the north, not as as much. So it's breaking that down further. Winds roughly 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers an hour, few inches of rain and watching that surge. There is going to be flooding. We're making those preps. We're finishing those ASAP as soon as possible in the Cayman Islands. Always want to uh, be safe for sure. And then we'll just hope for the best. Hopefully we wake up or uh, get over the next two days. It wasn't as bad as we thought or something like that. I hope that's that is the hope. Now the Yucatan. So uh, the uh, as we get toward uh, Mexico, uh, 75 mile per hour winds or 120 kilometers an hour, four inches of rain or 100 millimeters of rain. Watching the track though in Jamaica, if the eye does move right over Jamaica that would add to some weakening but the Yucatan and Mexico we're going to see a hurricane working in Thursday night so that's tomorrow night into Friday now Belize uh, yesterday we got some better news that is holding the worst weather stays to the north but right around Belize City we're still taking those preps some tropical storm conditions possible as of now it looks like worse weather is to the north we get some gusty winds of 45 miles per hour 70 kilometers an hour get a few inches of rain possible in our northern sections other spots of Belize are going to say, hey, what storm? It's not here. And yes, that is the case. Again, I like to tell you where a storm's going, but also where it's not going. So you don't have to spend time, money, resources, all that stuff and anxiety to uh, to prepare for a storm. So we got some better news in Belize, watching it carefully. Still some tropical storm conditions are possible especially northern Belize. So not taking our eye off of the system. Meters here, feet over here, simply put uh, for my boaters, my mariners, and that's a lot of us and, and thinking about uh, where your boat is and uh, you, you know your business right along the coast. These are those giant swells working in as we'd expect. Uh, high seas, very, very high seas. Our wave heights, uh, what we would expect in a major hurricane and a hurricane working. This is tomorrow working toward the uh, Yucatan. And then this here is by Friday. And then by Friday, this here, a little pickup here, is because of that other tropical disturbance behind it. But by Friday, we're going to see those seas uh, uh, very much on the high side, to say the least, over toward the Western Gulf and Bay of Campeche. And that'll be the case as we go throughout the weekend in the Western Gulf and still watching those seas build. A lot of active weather behind this. So we'll be breaking that down further. But of course, all eyes on what's going on with barrel. As far as the swath of rain, these colors are off my chart. You see the black shading in there. That's 150 millimeters or six inches of rain. Anything other, these other colors, uh, these reds and yellows, Hello. That's that's higher than that. Uh, so into Jamaica, we could get some much higher totals. But fortunately, I mentioned the forward speed on this still moving to the uh, west northwest at 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers an hour. Uh, that's OK. Some of these things can move very, very slow. At least this thing is moving. You see again the, uh, some heavy, heavy rain. Obviously, that's going to be working in with this as we get toward Jamaica. Heaviest rain as we get toward the Cayman Islands right here. You see over toward uh, Georgetown You get over toward uh, Grand Cayman. That's where some of the uh, heaviest weather will be and uh, not uh, as much as far as the uh, higher totals up toward our uh, northern islands. So there's that swath right there and then eventually heading over toward uh, Mexico. But as we work our way over the next couple days still in the Eastern Caribbean. You see that uh, uh, uptake in some of the rain. Uh, we could get upwards of uh, 75 to 100 millimeters of rain. That's with that tropical disturbance uh, moving in back behind this. So Jamaica for today, the hurricane is moving in. Thank you for helping others, taking care of your friends and neighbors. I've been watching those uh, comments. Uh, I'll go throughout those throughout the uh, day, but you just be safe. Don't even worry about commenting or anything. You be safe, but let us know after uh, how you are doing. Cayman Islands tomorrow. I mentioned the breakdown, the difference in location. Then we swing back toward Trinidad and Tobago. A little uptick in some of the rain. Not a guarantee we get some rain today. Uh, scattered showers and storms. Higher chance though in Barbados with that tropical disturbance that is not organized. Same thing as we get toward St. Lucia. Rain chance about 70% in uh, Grenada as we go through the day and 
We are thinking about Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines with uh, what happened with Barrel when it rolled uh, through. We are all thinking of you. There's no doubt about that. You're seeing the love in those uh, comments. Martinique, 70% chance of rain today and about a 60% chance in Dominica as that tropical disturbance moves in. Rain chance uh, still on the elevated side as we get toward Guadalupe. Antigua and Barbuda, we need some rain. I'm hoping some of the uh, showers break free and clip us by in our, our northeastern zones of the uh, Caribbean. St. Kitts and Nevis, we do get it. We in Montserrat, we do get a bump up in the rain chance in Guilla and St. Bart's, but not a guarantee. 40-50% chance uh, tomorrow and Friday. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia, a little bump in the uh, rain chance. Rain chance will be higher tomorrow in Puerto Rico. Scattered storms will be around and about a 50-60% to 60 chance in the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Not a guarantee. Uh, just seen that chance of some showers and storms. Bahamas, the heaviest weather has been down to the south. Heaviest weather, Turks and Caicos has also been down to the south. Dominican Republic, we're watching our south side. Worst weather is moving away, but watching out for a few pockets of flooding. If you're in the DR, let me know uh, how you're doing along our uh, southern coast. And in Haiti, the rain chance is about to go down. This is for later today. But this morning and early today, I showed you that flooding and watching those rivers rising, those river crossings, watching that one, especially that big one, as we get uh, toward uh, Jack Mel. <clears throat> Belize, rain chance. Again, watch all eyes, about 50% as we get toward the end of the week. All eyes on a barrel. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, hard to buy some rain. Everything up and around us uh, right now. So monitoring some of the uh, lack of rain that we've had. Guyana, we're looking at a 60% chance. Suriname, about a 60% chance of scattered rain and storm. And looking at a 40% chance in Cuba, eastern end, as I was showing you earlier, some of the uh, showers uh, trying to work in, some of the rain bands trying to work in from the very northern fringes of Barrel, Costa Rica and Panama few areas of flooding uh, isolated to uh, widespread showers and storms in uh, Nicaragua 30 to 50 percent chance the next uh, few days same thing on Hon in Honduras again uh, barrel will be staying to the north Guatemala and El Salvador 50 percent chance of rain uh, pockets of flooding around Mexico City and of course as we get toward the Yucatan all eyes will be on Friday with hurricane conditions moving in 30 to 40 percent chance of rain as we work our way toward Colombia 30 to 40 percent chance of the next few days not too high as we get toward northern Venezuela. Better chance of some showers nearby in Bermuda as we go throughout the uh, day. So Hurricane Barrel moving into Jamaica today. After that, the Cayman Islands, the Yucatan on Friday and monitoring northeastern Mexico and Texas. After that, as we could see some hurricane conditions moving into that direction. So in Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we are all thinking of you today. No doubt about that. Thank you for spreading this uh, channel just to get the uh, correct information out there. Um, doing the best I can and uh, please, please, please be safe. Worse weather is about to move in. Uh, we're thinking of you. Have a good day ahead.